Much like in our Symfony 4 JSON API patch implementation, the FuzzRest bundle patch implementation will be extremely similar to our put action. FuzzRest bundle once again provides us with a convention to follow, and we need to name our controller method as the patch action, after which FuzzRest bundle will take care of most of the heavy lifting for us. Now as a heads up, this isn't a true patch implementation, it's a pragmatic approach, but it's neither essential to implement nor a potentially good match for your needs. Now I've written about this before, so please have a look in the show notes if at all curious. Anyway, with that disclaimer out of the way, let's first see the test and then cover the implementation. So the difference between a put and a patch is that patch will allow updates via partial representations of our entities. In other words, we only need to submit the fields that change and we don't need to send in every field even if it hasn't changed. Now as a heads up, in the real world I rarely use patch. From a JavaScript front end, it's just much easier to JSON stringify a full object, which we would almost always likely have thanks to GET requests. But patch may be useful to you and it's so easy to implement that we're going to add it anyway. So the starting point for our implementation is a copy paste of the put action. These two are almost identical so why make life harder than it need to be? This is even simpler than in our raw Symphony 4 approach because there we had to update the annotation. There's two differences. We need to update the method name from put action to patch action and we'll need to update the second argument to the form submit method. True is the implicit default, false is what we need to explicitly pass. Now because PHP doesn't use named arguments, this can be a little bit hard to understand, but PHP Storm does add a nice little label there saying that we're talking about clear missing. Now clear missing is going to null any field for which we haven't explicitly provided a value. In patch situations this is exactly not what we want. We want to keep the existing values and only update the properties that we explicitly provide. So by setting clear missing to false, this is exactly what we get. And really there's not much more to it than this. Let's now validate our work by checking the output of a debug router. And we can see the patch album root has been created, locked down to just the patch verb, and the root has the placeholder of ID. If we send in our test, we now get a pass. All we have left to do now is delete. 